I've worked tomorrow, it's Sunday night currently, so I figured this would be like the most accurate depiction of a night routine. <laughs> Look who it is, you guys. <laughs> Look, like it hits at a good place, it's more professional. That you actually like. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a night routine. I'm finally establishing some sort of normalcy in my like, routine here in Boston. If you haven't been keeping up with my vlogs, um, go back and watch them. I just moved to Boston for my real job, so I work an eight to five. I've worked tomorrow, it's Sunday night currently, so I figured this would be like the most accurate depiction of a night routine. I haven't done one of these in the longest time, um, just because my routine is always changed. Like, I don't really have a routine. Like, honestly, every night's different, but I do the same few things every night, and I like to prepare for the workday tomorrow and stuff. So I figured this would be good. To it's currently 5.30. Oh shoot, it's already 5.30. Um, but I go to bed pretty early, so I figured I would just start off the video here. I'm also partnering up with Pure Relief on this video. Pure Relief is a CBD company. I've been so into CBD lately. A lot of you guys have been asking me what brands I'm using, so I'm so excited to show you my products from Pure Relief. I'm a huge fan of CBD. It's, um, I mean, I'll tell you guys more about it throughout the video, but it's not a drug. It's just a part of the hemp plant that is extracted. And I use it for my benefit to relax and unwind. And honestly, I've been using it as a replacement for melatonin when I'm going to bed. So that's kind of how it integrates into my routine. But it's really good for helping, you know, to relieve like stress and anxieties and stuff like that. And now that I am working and I just have a lot more on my plate, it's definitely come into my life in a much more unique way. So I actually already kind of ate dinner. I made mac and cheese. <laughs> I was feeling really lazy. I just ate like the Annie's, this kind, Annie's mac. If I showed you guys me making it, you'd be like, you can't cook. So, you know, it's fine. Yeah, I ate that at like a weird time. So maybe I'll just have like a snack before bed. I don't really know. I was just really hungry before, so I ate that. And then um, I'm currently doing laundry over here. I have my laundry set up here. I can kind of give you guys an apartment update. Just keep in mind, it's not finished, um, but this is it. I just got that arc lamp and it's a little um, not working and then the mirror fell. So we have a lot of uh, missing pieces, but overall the vibe is there. Um, I got more of these acrylic chairs. Um, oh, they're actually pretty dirty right now. I just realized, I guess, yeah. I had some people over on Friday, so they were actually in use. And then I ordered two more of those chairs, so those are coming. And then we have the bar cart fully stocked. Finally, I got some more wine today at Trader Joe's. I've been really into lighting candles. This one's basically burned out, the Volcano one. Well, it burned like really weird, but I have this one from Bath and Body Works that I haven't used yet. T my Tiki Waikiki Beach Coconut Yum. Let's light it up. I love a good candle vibe. I bought myself these flowers today and I got this vase too. It's actually meant for like water and stuff. It has a little chalkboard thing on the back that you could write like, you know, like orange juice or whatever. Um, but I thought that it was cute actually as a vase, as a vase, if you will, really cute. Other apartment things, I have like a million things drying over there, so disregard that. Um, but the kitchen and everything is looking good. I need something else to put on that sign. Hit me up if you have suggestions. This is from Target, this little guy. And then overall, just a pretty chill night. Um, I was just watching David Dobrik on YouTube and now I don't really know what to watch. I have to shower at some point and then I'll get going. I think I'm gonna FaceTime a friend right now. I've been really into since I live alone. Um, not that I get lonely, but I just think it's a great way to connect with people. Just like, not like randomly FaceTiming, but like FaceTiming like friends from my school and like friends from like all over um, just to stay in touch. So I'm gonna FaceTime a friend right now. I just did, I still have it on my face, actually, the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. I really like it because it's exfoliating. I feel like it's really good before like a week of work to do that because um, I wear makeup every day and exfoliating is like really good for your skin. So I just like rubbed it in, it's still on, and then I'm gonna shower it off in a little bit. I'm gonna take a nice, long, relaxing shower, do the whole thing. I have a dress on and then this sweatshirt on top because I got cold, even though I could just change the temperature because it's my apartment. <laughs> I really just love the vibe in here right now. So I'm going to bring lunch to work tomorrow. So I'm quickly um, roasting up some veggies. I'm gonna just do like a veggie salad, I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. This is my first time really like bringing um, lunch to work, but I figured that would be good because I have a lot of greens um, in the fridge. And then I had some asparagus and zucchini, I figured. So I'll roast it up and do that for lunch tomorrow. I'm going to put garlic salt on top of all of this too. I feel like that's gonna be so yummy. Oh my God. Just showered, now I'm doing laundry. Um, 
<laughs> Damn, I look so cute right now. Mm, I believe I picked out my outfit for work tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna wear this black dress. It ties at the waist. And then it gets kind of chilly in the room, so I'm gonna bring like a nicer sweater to kind of dress it up, even though like it's like a cottony material, but it like look like it hits in a good place. It's more professional. And I'm gonna just wear my loafers with it. Literally in robe season here. I have to clean up my room. I need to film um, a haul video for Princess Polly, but I've been wearing the clothes, honestly. Like, so I've been like reaching in here and grabbing the clothes out, so. But this video like seriously needs to be filmed. Just out of time today to film that, but <laughs> coming up. I also haven't used my planner in a few days, so I really want to um, sit here and plan out the rest of my week. I have off on the 4th of July, which is coming up, which is so nice. So I have time to just sit and plan in a little. I'm just brushing out my wet hair. I like to just wear it straight to work or like just straighten it and then I can add curls in the morning if I'm feeling that or something. So I've been really liking this product. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Heat slash UV Protector Primer and I just put it in my hair when it's wet. And then I kind of let it, I either let it air dry or blow dry it, but today since I have time, I'm just gonna let it air dry and then I'll straighten it later, either tonight or tomorrow morning. Also, this is my favorite um, body lotion, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I'm obsessed. I just take it and apply it really everywhere in my body, specifically like my legs, my arms, all those areas. All right, now I have to take off my robe. It's pretty dark, but um, I'm packing seaweed and the almond butter bar for tomorrow. And then I actually just made, I put all those um, like veggies in a salad container and I've kind of made it like a salad. So that's my lunch for tomorrow for work. I have milk in there from my mac and cheese before I'm not drinking it, but I needed it for the mac and cheese, okay? I'm gonna wash some of the dishes. I have a million things drying right now. It's all good. Also for nightly skincare, I'm going to do my eye cream and my drunk elephant night serum. And I bring it and do it like in my close-up mirror. I don't know why I do that, but thorough, I think, doing my skincare at this mirror because I really get to see everything. Like this mirror is just like lights up so good. It's from Costco. I'm not taking this robe off, um, sorry. But I am gonna sit here and attempt to plan. I look so ugly right now, I'm sorry. I just used my day designer planner. Um, this is the mini one. I honestly haven't been using it for like a week now since I started work. Um, but I'm just gonna go in here and like write in um, some tasks that I have do, like some videos that I have do and things that I kind of want to accomplish by certain days. Oh my gosh, tomorrow is July 1st, you guys. Holy crap, it's already July. Ooh, big day tomorrow, that means rent is due. Fun. I also do a lot of my calendar stuff on my Mac. Um, I just use the iCal app. I actually have a whole separate video on how I plan on my calendar, so you guys can go check that out for more like detailed planning. But since I work eight to five now, I don't really block anything in that time. I literally just have like work. Um, so I haven't really been using the computer. I haven't really been planning as much, honestly. I've just been writing general to-do lists, but I really want to plan, especially because we do have off on Thursday for 4th of July and stuff like that. Okay, so I actually wanted to talk to you guys about Pure Relief, which is my favorite CBD line at the moment. You guys know I'm big into CBD. I've tried other forms of it, like in pill form and stuff like that, and I think I finally found something like that works, and I've like built it into my routine. So they sent me like a variety of their products. These are drops that you actually like put in your mouth, like they're like just like edible drops. This is a pen, which I actually this is just the packaging of it. I have it next to my bed because I like hit it before I go to bed. I say hit it. It's like not like a vape or anything. It's literally just a CBD pen. Um, so it has no marijuana, no THC. It's not a drug. So, so just to be clear, CBD is a chemical compound naturally found in the hemp plant. It's actually different than marijuana because marijuana is potent in THC versus CBD, which stands for 
I'll put it on the screen. I literally don't know how to pronounce this word, you guys, but cannabidoil, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Those products don't have like a mind altering effect on your body. So a lot of people always ask me, like people in my personal life and stuff are like, what's the deal with the CBD stuff? Like, is it legit? I think it's legit. People use CBD to treat things like muscle pain, illness, and address like other like mental health, health issues like depression, anxiety, and just like generally for me, stress relief. So I actually have the gummy bears in my side table. This is just like new packs of them. I was just showing you guys the nice stuff. I really like the gummy bears. They taste like really light, but I actually just like the pen. I take like um, a few hits of it before I go to bed. And to me, it works like melatonin, you guys. It puts me right to sleep, but I don't have, but I don't have that sleep hangover effect uh, the next day that melatonin gives me, which is why I love CBD. I've tried CBD at different points of the day and it's not like it like zonks me out and I'm like, wow, I have to go to sleep now, but it relaxes me in such a way that I like to do it before I go to sleep because it puts me at peace. I also live by myself now and I kind of tend to get freaked out at night. So it just puts my mind at ease and like overall reduces stress. So again, CBD is not a drug. Like you'll notice in states where um, marijuana is illegal, they sell CBD. I also personally don't like weed. Um, I live in a state now where it's legal and it's just not for me. Like I just genuinely don't like weed. Nothing against people who smoke it or choose to do that, but CBD is an entirely different entity in itself. I would recommend if you're starting, just start with the lowest dosage. I've literally never heard of anyone having negative side effects, but but I would just say to start with a low dosage, build yourself up and see if you like it. I think it's definitely worth trying. And um, I've tried a bunch of different kinds and this is definitely my favorite like method. I really like Pure Relief CBD. I love their branding, number one. And number two, I really like their products. Like I love how they have gummy bears, so fun. And you can just have one of these, two of these like satisfy your sweet craving too. And they don't like taste terrible, so that's a plus. But then the pen is also really good because it has like a tangerine flavor. I don't know, I, I like it, I think it's, it's nice. Also, Pure Relief is a totally trustworthy brand. It's not just like a random brand that I, like I found on the internet, you know? They have third-party lab testing and it's actually formulated by pharmacists. So yeah, if you're getting the gummies, just make sure you chew them all the way before you swallow so that you like actually get the effects of it. Um, the pen, I just smoke it for like a few seconds. I don't know. I honestly don't even want to record myself smoking this right now because I look like an idiot. So I'm not going to do that, but it's fun. And if you're getting the oil, you place it under your tongue. So that's really cool. You can scan the QR code on their packaging to make sure that like the ingredients match what it is so definitely check it out uh, let me know what you guys think if you're a CBD user once again it is not a drug um, I mean I'm gonna be like honest I would say like if you're like under 18 like definitely make sure that you check it out and like you know whoever you live with is cool with you uh, doing that but I don't see any problem with CBD I think it's completely natural and once again, there's literally no THC in the product. It's so it's not mind altering. It's not a drug. That's my CBD routine. I'll leave all the links and information to Pure Relief down below. Um, and thank you once again to them for sponsoring me, partnering up with me on this video. Rest of the night, I still have more laundry going. I don't want to put it away, you guys. I'm feeling so lazy. I'm getting really tired too. Um, I hit my pen. <laughs> I kind of want to relax and get into bed, brush my teeth, and like chill and like go on my computer in bed. I think that might be my vibe right now. <laughs> oh my god, I look so bad. <laughs> look who it is, you guys. <laughs> Hi. Aw, miss you. Big little lies. Um, I lightly straightened my hair just so that I have less to do in the morning and it is like 9.45 and I'm gonna head to bed. Thanks so much for watching Night Routine. Um, that's literally it. I know it's like nothing crazy. Um, I didn't even show dinner. I didn't eat anything else. I ate so much mac and cheese before, so I'm good. Um, if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Um, more videos coming soon. Thanks again to Pure Relief for partnering up with me on this one. And I'll talk to you guys all another time really soon. I'm always posting videos. Bye guys.